Measure of dispersion for ungrouped data. QSSM Mathematics Form 4. Comprehensive Practice. Questions 10. Page 239. The table below shows the methods of play use in two separate crawl teams. A. Calculate the mean, range, variance, and standard divisions for the methods of the play use in both teams. Team A. Means is the average of all the masses in team A, so mean is 61. Range is the maximum value minus the minimum value. The maximum mass for team A is 70 and the minimum is 48, so 70 minus 48. So the range is 22. Variant is find the square of all the masses in team A and add all of them and then divided by the total numbers of players. There are 5 players. And then minus the mean square. So 61 square. So variance is 78.8. Standard division is square root of variance. Square root of 78.8. So standard division is 8.877. Team B. The mean for team B is the average of masses in team B, so mean is 61. The range for team B is the maximum max 75 minus the minimum mass 45. So range is 30. Variant is the square of all the masses in team B and add all of them. Then divided by the total number of players in team B. There are 5 players in team B. Then minus the mean square, 61 square. So variant is 135.6. Subdivision is square root of variant. So square root of 135.6. So subdivision for team B is 12.47. B. Is the range appropriate to be used as a measure of dispersion to present the data above? Justify your answer. The textbook answer is no, because of the existence of outlier or extreme values. But the answer is wrong, because the data does not have outlier or extreme value. The correct answer is yes. I will prove the data does not have outlier or extreme value in the next slide. C. Determine the mass of which team has a greater dispersion from the mean. The team B, because extended division is greater than team A. Team B standard division is 12.47, but team A the standard division is 8.87, so team B standard division is greater than team A. An outlier must be less than the first quartile minus 1.5 multiplied by the interquartile range or greater than the third quartile plus 1.5 multiplied by interquartile range. We will study these formulas in Form 6. Team A. The interquartile range is the third quartile minus first quartile. To find the third quartile and first quartile, we need to find the median first. Median is the center of the data. So, the median for team A and team B is 65 and 68 respectively. After the median, there are two data. The middle of the two data is the third quarter. And before the median, there are two data. The middle of the two data is first quarter. So, the third quarter for the team A is the average of 69 and 70. And the first quarter is the average of 48 and 53. So, in the quota range for team A is 69.5 minus 50.5. So, in the quota range for team A is 19. According to these formulas, the first quota minus 1.5 multiplied by the in quota range 19 is 50.5 minus 1.5 multiplied by 19 is 22. And according to these formulas, Third quartile plus 1.5 multiplied by the in quartile range 19 is 69.5 plus 1.5 multiplied by 19 is 98. So any values 
less than 22 or more than 98 is an outlier. So there are no outlier in team A. Team B. The encoder range is 26.5. Any values less than 6.25 or more than 112.25 is an outlier. So there are no outlier in team B. If you have any questions, please leave your comments. Thank you very much.